woke up this morning with money on my mind. mind. I rush out, bitch, now I'm focused on your fine. I pray to the Lord, everything will work fine. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. shine. Stop my shine. shine. Stop my shine. Okay. There's nobody here that can stop my shine. Stop my shine. Stop my shine. Stop my shine. What good YouTube? What's happening, squad? Real TK squad back again with another thoughts and opinions video. It's about Travis checking in. And it is your girl Queen Key off in this thing. All right, y'all. So everybody was hitting us up, telling us to do this part two. And uh, in the process, part two got pulled down. So we and couldn't. They revised it. Yeah, somebody said they revised it. So uh, we didn't get to watch the first one, so we didn't know. So we had to wait for it to go back up, and then the process of two going back up, three actually came up too. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna talk about this little bit of part two. We're gonna go on to part move on to part three. So part two was basically elaborating pretty much on Damien telling about how they got, you know, basically, basically it was like the families telling about how they were coming up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. On both sides, Damien's side and Bianca's side. And so did did Charles or the other dude talk? Neither one of them spoke, but we gonna get to this because okay. I got something to say about that. But so Damien did his little part first. He told about you know starting out how, and I didn't know this. That's the stepdaddy, Mike, whatever his name is. He been with them. He been with his mama since Damien was a little boy. Yeah. He was like, you know, I've been with Damien since he was sucking his thumb. And you know what I'm saying? i be like, boy, get your thumb out your mouth. You a boy. So, and Damien and his brother never liked him for real. So, there was always an issue. He, Like he said, he already, he always knew that a clash was going to come. You, you can tell that when you're a man and you raising somebody else, you, you co-parenting somebody else's kids. You know that. that, that and especially if they're boys. Yeah. Because boys have this thing of, I don't, and I don't get it. They don't like the step parent coming in the door. Like boys have that, and they have some shit. It's just that test that testosterone. Like you wanna, you wanna be the man, and you don't wanna listen to no other nigga that ain't your daddy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. One thing about that is, I never had that issue because my mom and dad was separated for years. You know what I'm saying? As me a kid. Never had that issue with like with another man coming in the house because I always felt like I respect my mama. So disrespecting this man is disrespecting my mom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I always like as long as he respected this house and he respected my mom, I show him the same respect. But Damien didn't respect his mama for him to be calling her bitches. Right. So he didn't have that respect for her. Right. So so they 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 always had that different tug of war anyway. So. He is he explained about how he got stabbed by the stepdad. And basically, they didn't tell the story in the first one, but basically, they jumped this man. Yeah. So the man was like, so they was like, you know, he had a somebody or sibling over, a little child that was over, whatever, got into it with Damien's brother. And Damien actually all of a sudden just automatically came down and took defense of his brother. Mm -hmm. So it was almost like two to one. So the stepdad was gonna Discipline yes, Damien's brother, and and so nobody really liked him because the mother brought him in and basically took him over everybody else. That's why I said over her kids. Over that's everybody. why I said in part one of our first initial reaction to this shit: when you have a mother or father, and you have children, and you bring somebody else in. You cannot treat your children like stepchildren. You can't do that shit because they develop a hate for the person that you brought in the house. Male and, or female, and, 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 it don't and, matter. And you too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and so, it don't matter, for yeah. male or female. Right. So, so like Damien said, you know, when he came, you know, we used to want to do stuff. Or as we grew up, we used to want to do stuff, go places, and it was always no, or you can't get that because, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, even he would say no, or, you know, shit like that. So they developed a kind of like a, a little hatred inside. But she was like her 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 mom and her sister and the two boys jumped him. They you know jumped on him. I don't know how bad they beat him up, but they jumped on who, him. Who who mom? His mama, Stephanie. Whatever. You know, Damien's mom. Damien's Damien's mom's mom. Oh. 
Okay. And her sister mm -hmm. and the kids and the two boys jumped on the man. See, now, we all was raised in this era. Well, old generation, not this new generation. This old generation was always raised in the era. Yeah. You're still new generation. They know. <laughs> I'm not claiming them. Because um, they're crazy. Um, we was raised in the era where you you are raised to not put your hands on women. Now, in my household, it was raised. You never put your hand on a woman, but if she hits you, you try to walk away from it. Mm -hmm. But if it gets to a point where it's too much, defend then yourself. you defend yourself. Yeah. That's how I was raised because me and my cut, I was, it was just us three. It was two boys and one girl, mm -hmm. me. And we was raised like that. So, you know, we kind of tittered on that, that line because, you know, sometimes I might haul off and knock the shit out of one of them. Mm -hmm. And it was like, you don't hit a girl. Mm -hmm. But I hit them because they used to fucking hit me on the low. And mm -hmm. I, so, you know, that's how we was raised. So now what if this man would have just went ballistic and just start going fucking crazy on these women? Yeah. So yeah, th if if the stabbing came, what the hell y'all thought was going to happen? Y'all <laughs> really thought y'all was going <coughs> to jump on this man and beat him up and people gonna be like what well, he is with kids but he also had two no, no, grown no, no, ass no, no, but these were just these were 14, 15, 16 year old kids these got them young okay, men well, young yeah. men well okay then let so me tell then, you something hey, I'm not gonna let no 15, 16 year old boy fight me period I'm going to jail a fit, I walk outside right now a 15 year old boy wanna fight we fight him because at the end of the day I'm gonna defend myself I can't let your big ass beat me up that's not gonna happen so what what y'all expect to happen? I would expect somebody would have got got hurt too. So in the process, she said he went and got a pot. <laughs> she said a pot. This nigga went and got a pot and a and a and a and a, and a, bar, and a barbecue got a pitchfork. So this nigga <laughs> thought he was from the scene of Zena Warrior. And he got a goddamn shield. <laughs> <laughs> You know, he kept, he kept switching the scenes back to day and back to him. And he was like, man, he he sent her that crying and junk about it. You know, he, it was just a little stick. He got a little poke. And then they all shoot up Damon. Damon was like, Damon was like, how the fuck I get poked? I got fucking stabbed. The ambulance came. They had to cut my shirt. The CPS took me. I get no fucking, they, they still talking about I got poked. I got fucking stabbed. Like, Damon was mad about that shit. And he, he's all like, you know. It was just a little poke. So we will never know if he got stabbed or poked. It was just a little poke. But they keep the mama said that no, he threw the thing. And he said he threw the thing. <laughs> so, so, so I'm going to be honest with you. Because Damien asked, do be exaggerated. Yeah. I think I think it didn't happen what the mama said. The mama and the dude said he threw the shit. And, so and, he and might have got. But Damien oh. said blood was everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. David said blood with everyone. So, but you like saying your daddy is exaggerating. Yeah. That might be bleeding a little bit. Then David said your blood. Because that nigga said it was just a little poke man. He put it with a band aid. He really said that they put a band aid on it. David like, it was blood everywhere. They cut the shirt open, had the tie on the stretch on it. David crazy as fuck. So, so it, it shows you that. There's a lot of dysfunction in that family. Right. Damon Daddy, Big Damien was like, you know, I don't fuck with him. When I came over there, I was trying to do that. And he kept running. He kept, he, kept, he kept running in the house, slamming the door. You know what I'm saying? The police tried to lock him up. You know what I'm saying? The police tried to lock Big Damien up because he was trying to get it. The man. Well, what you thought, nigga? You coming to somebody's house that don't belong to you 
talking about you gonna whoop somebody ass. Now, granted, if it was my child, I would have acted the same way. But you gotta be smart about your situation. You catch that nigga outside his house when he's away from it, and you beat his ass. I would you doing work one morning? Put yes. your fucking head on. <laughs> way. I wouldn't have came over there yeah, the yeah. same day. Like I would have been trying to figure out where the fuck my kids at because yeah. they're getting took by CPS. Yeah. And Big Damon said that he did try to get Damon, you know, Damon them. He was like, but because of his prison record, you know what I'm saying? Like, he had been to prison because, like Damon said, he did nine years in prison when he was young for um, robbery or whatever. So he was like, because of his prison record, CPS wouldn't let him take them, which that's understandable. Mm. I understand. I, I, didn't, I didn't know they'd be that serious. With the, especially with the felony records, like um, robbery and shit like that. Yeah, they're not letting you. Even not, if that shit old as hell. But it wasn't that old. Oh, okay. That shit was kind of fresh, you know okay. what I'm saying? He, he did, he did, he did these nine years while he was growing up. So it wasn't that old. So, um, you know, so he's like, you know, I couldn't get him or whatever. So you had to go with a aunt or whatever who was already had her foster license or whatever. But and he was like that. He, that big dad was like, you know, she was uh, living a certain life that still that he don't think was kind of cool for them because mm-hmm. she was trying to be a rapper and all that shit and growing up and. She was kind of blowing up in the city or shit like that. But, so that just shows you that there's a lot of dysfunction in that family. And, because now you don't really see it as like you really do. Yeah, because we even was talking about it that time when Damien broke the man ankle or whatever. That shit was real deal serious. How they start, how you can tell how they start playing basketball all rough and talking to each other and motherfuckers mm-hmm. like, that was real. Yeah. They really don't really like each other inside. But, the money made everything better. Now that's on Damien's side. Now let's switch yeah. over to Bianca and them side. So Bianca on Bianca's side, Bianca mama talk. And first she was like, you know, growing up, she had, you know, three girls. At first it was just Bianca. And then she was like, and then she had uh she she like first it was just Bianca. So Bianca's the old. Yeah. Okay. So first it was Bianca. And she said that it was hard for her. And she said she wasn't. This is what she said. Now, for all y'all to be coming on my da- on our damn channel, bucking at me about who the damn daddy is and all that shit, because damn it, Bianca lie. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. They'll say one thing and then go say a whole different shit on another video. The mama said, "Growing up, uh, uh, when I had Bianca, it was rough. She like I wasn't with her father. She said I was with her father, and then I and then I, I ended up getting with this other man." And we had to make do. And when she said I ended up giving this other man, she showed a picture of her and Charles. Mm-hmm. So Charles is the stepfather. But even when Damien was explaining about Bianca <laughs> leaving her way, he was saying Charles was the stepfather. Right. Because he was saying she was going off to go to her real dad house. Right. Right. So I knew I knew it wasn't what they were saying to her. Yeah, she was Charles with the dad and she got with Charles and then she left Charles and then got back with him in time. So... Basically, she said, she said, she said, you know, the other two girls came along and she was glad that, you know, she had, uh, didn't have, you know, boys, but it was girls. Like she said, it was, just, it was easy for her that way, just to raise girls. Um, but she was saying that when she, she didn't ever meet, um, Damien until Bianca had a birthday party or something like that. Now... We all heard Vante say that he met. He been on since she was fourteen. He met her since she, she was fourteen. And he didn't. He, he and met and, her and, and Bianca even said that shit while back on DMV Nation channel. Mm-hmm. Now the mama get up here talking about. So my dad, he was three years older than her. Like what the hell? So that means that he was three. Come on now, he ain't three years older than her now. She twenty two. He twenty seven. So what, you, <laughs> what you're saying is he lied to, about his age. So, so, so he lied. Yeah. So what she lied to her mama and said he was only three years old. Cause she said she met him at a party. I mean, she met him when he came into a party. Bianca was supposed to be so mad because she didn't get something she wanted or whatever. And Damien came over to the party to see her or whatever. Now you can tell by what that mama say. She and I, I, I thought at first I thought it was just the father, the stepfather, the father. She don't like Damien. You can tell. Yeah, she said she tolerates him. She said I touch. She said I, 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 I like him because 
He's the father of my grandkids, and he has done some good things for my daughter. Mm -hmm. And I just pray that everything just, you know, gets better in time. She can't stand that nigga for that shit. Because he's older and took her daughter, basically. Mm -hmm. Cause Bianca, because Bianca was like, she wasn't about to tell her she's going to do what she wanted to do regardless. Be with him regardless. And that's when I would have had to let go. Yeah. Because you, you're a child under my roof. You're not fucking no grown ass man. And I would have went to the fucking police department and told them this. Right. So he would have been in jail and they would have made sure that he had no contact with her. So it wasn't, again, it was not her decision. It was the mother's decision. When you're a kid, you don't have a decision. Facts. Um, I keep, I was arguing with this one girl about that joke about her. When she decided, it's not her decision. You don't have a decision at 15, 16 years old. You don't have a decision. But um, like I said, that was just basically part three was just basically part two was just basically showing a lot of dysfunction in those families. And it just shows that money made it better. Yeah, because Bianca said something in part three that made me be like, what? And I'm going to say this too. The council shit. Yeah, I'm going to say this too. When we first start being introduced into Damien's family, Damien wanted to give his family the world because he was coming up and he had money to give them. Bianca have always looked like she didn't care for them. Mm -hmm. She's always been selfish towards them. Mm -hmm. If you think about it, just look at look back at old videos and, and watch her. We bought, them, we bought them them beds and stuff. Bianca didn't want to do that. Look at, like you said, look at videos and watch her demeanor and watch her face and see how she looks. Yeah. And I feel like Damien didn't want to do shit for her family. Mm -hmm. But they had to come to a common type of ground type of shit. But at the same time, Damien was going to do it for his family regardless. regardless. He Now, he owns some shit. Like, I'm not doing shit for your family. Yeah. But they was forced to do give her that money for that council shit. Because everybody was like, why your mama own? Um, did a GoFundMe. She even Bianca said that was her decision. That wasn't my decision. They caught backlash with the internet, everybody in the city, all that. You're right. That was her decision. But because y'all got so much backlash about it, that's why y'all had to give her the money. Y'all was y'all was pushed into a coma. Because people was like, y'all <laughs> rich, y'all rich as fuck. Why is she doing? Why does she need a GoFundMe for her cancer treatment? You know what I'm saying? So that's when they took their ass out of Indiana and paid for it. Mm -hmm. And then she said, um, I hope my mom would be. I hope she's appreciative of what we did. For what her. we did for her. All we did for her. I, I was like, it. what? You helped get Kelsey out of her. I'm, I'm sure she's appreciative. Very you know what I'm saying? But for you even to say to that. To say that on camera. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck? Like. But. Mm. It, it, like I said, what? So then, so we see that's why Charles and the other the real dad don't fuck with Damien because they 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 some grown men they understand that shit they like bro you was fucking a fucking baby yeah then you lied let's go back to the oh she was with her real dad for two weeks because that's probably when she got pregnant mm -hmm. and she was really at your house did that John say she said that John again in the story you know, I rode my bike to the store to get a pregnancy test like. You rode your bike to the store. Do you understand how the mindset of like grown people should look at that? And then how Damien downgrades her as being a child on camera. He said, you know, how he said it? No, and it said over the years, I've learned, I've gotten more patience. I got more patience with Bianca. Because, you know, she's younger than me. And I got more patience with our kids. So you treat her like a fucking child. Mm. I got more patience with Bianca. You know, she's way younger than me. Mm. He treats Bianca mentally like she's a child. You see what she said? I ride his way. They, they're like, well, so what, what do y'all see yourself in 10 years, 5 years? She, she don't even have a clue. She said, I ride his way. Then they start saying, well, you know, I see ourselves with our name on a building back home and this and that. She's like, she like, oh, yeah, yeah. That would be lit. She'll have, she have a clue what's going on. She wake up in the morning and then what we doing today? She said, 
her mama said, you know, Bianca said she didn't want to do this shit. Now, this was fucked up to me. You said, well, Bianca, you are a pretty girl. You have a pretty um, good personality and just do what he tell you to do. And, you know, what? Shit already gave him up to him. Do what he tell you to do. You know why she already out the house? I ain't got to take care of you now. Mm-mm. He's he taking care of you. I said, wow. Hell, do what he tell you to do so you ain't got to bring your head back home. Mm. This That was crazy when I heard that. So, that tells us from then to now, Bianca always going to do what Damien tells us to do. Right. She she don't have a mind of her own. But you see what she's saying. Everything he says, you know, he be right. Everything Damien says, he be right. And I'm just going to ride his way. Mm-hmm. Like this, first of all, I'm gonna be honest with you. Being knowing the age difference, because I believe the mama line. Like y'all knew how old is y'all know. Yeah, that's why you don't like him. Well, you make it seem, but you make it seem better on camera. Cause and I'm telling you, cause I'm telling you, I didn't know this. But people was getting on her on our last video we did on part one. She was in the comments. Oh yeah, people were saying that. I saw one of the comments. She was in the comments. Uh, checking people. So wait a minute. Don't don't come at me. Something like she was in the comments checking people. See, what she should have been, I wouldn't instead of checking people in the comment section, she shouldn't even been a part of this fucking documentary. Knowing how he got her, I wouldn't have been a part of this shit at all. Because I, I that it. makes you look guilty yeah. just as bad as it do with him. I don't accept it. I don't accept that shit. I still don't accept it. To this day, I still don't accept it. Yeah. I, at the end of the day, I love the fuck out my grandkids, but I don't accept y'all. Yeah. Like, I don't accept that. Because yeah. look how he got her. Like, I seen a video um, one time, I, I, I tried watching um Charles and what her name, Jen? Yeah. I tried watching them. I seen a video she was talking about, you know, she was wild back in the day and such and such and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That made me get the mindset of that's the reason why you just let her go. Like, that shit really make you look bad. Well, one thing that tells me is, because she did say that growing up, they had it rough. She, she said that, um, you know, she uh, was living kind of, you know, from check to check, basically. And she told Bianca, anything extra you want, you know, you want makeup and stuff like that, you that's extra. You're going to have to get a job. Anything extra you want, you got to get a job. First of all, what the fuck a 14-year-old doing wearing makeup? And she was just naming stuff. And she was like, anything extra you want, you're going to have to get a job. So she was like, the only place in the city, basically, was hiring was Little Caesars. And she said that she she regretted to this day still taking her to that place to get a job. I'm, because I'm, that's when she met Damien. I'm going to say this. Our, how we live is hard. Right? Yeah. Um, we don't live check to check, but we ain't out here just balling. We rich, yeah. Never is my child going to have to go get a job to get the extra shit she wants. I'm going to bust my ass to make sure she have what she it's wants and what she needs. It make it work. So, her ass should have got up and went and got a second job or whatever it was. Because her, her child's job was school. That was her job. I tell my kids that shit every day. Your job is school. You're going to graduate from high school. I don't want them to have jobs. I always tell him that. All the reason I all the reason I don't all the reason I don't mind my kids having jobs, and that's because I got a job when I was fifteen. But it it was it wasn't that I needed to have a job because my mom forced me to get a job. It wasn't because of that. I got a job at, at fifteen because it taught me responsibility. It showed me how to take care of myself. It showed me how to like my mom would get a job and then mom would, she got a job and then told me, well, give me something to put on. The phone bill. Like, it'd be like the smallest bill in the house. You know what I'm saying? And it was really just to show you that when you grow up, you have to pay bills. You have to do the... It just gave you responsibility. So, therefore, when my when they, my parents bought me a car, it was like, we're going to get you a car. 
But now you have to pay your own insurance. If your car break down, you got to pay for that. You know what I'm saying? That's your responsibility. So having a job at a young age, it, it, and it taught you a responsibility like, you got to get your ass up and go to work today. You know what I'm saying? You can't be you can't be out, out with your friends to, uh, tonight and you ain't got damn want to skip work tomorrow. You ain't going to get fired. You know what I'm saying? So it taught you responsibility. So that's the only reason I wouldn't mind them getting a job because it ain't about the money. The money is yours. As long as you're doing responsible things with it. It's yours. I ain't tripping. You know, but and and we have to deal with that when, when it, it comes. When yeah. it comes, but I feel like I don't want them to get a job because I don't want that shit. The same shit that Bianca Mama just said mm-hmm. happened. I don't want that shit to happen with yeah. my children. And we already know grown ass men are out here preying on young females. Facts. No matter what you dress your child in. Facts. So I don't want to. And we got all girls. I ain't got time for that shit because I will go to fucking jail about mine. And I just want them to graduate high school. Mm-hmm. Um, like I told y'all, I wasn't fortunate to do that. I want them to do it. I, I want them to be better than I was mm-hmm. at, their, at, at, at their age. So that's why I feel like job will take away from them um, school work and shit like that. And we'll see how it goes. Like if they, if they decide they decide they want to we'll see how it goes. And if it, if it starts about size. Miss with your grades, then you quit your fucking job. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, you're not gonna be working it because you have to. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, so she like no see the only place that's how she met Danny. You can tell she regrets that. Um it just like I say, it just it just it just showed like it's still it's a lot of dysfunction on that end. And like I said, you gotta think about it. By her like since she already was already struggling, she had two other girls. So whether she wanted her to go with that or not, that took a lot of pressure off of her. You see what I'm saying? Was that pressure? That's why she said, he wouldn't be YouTube. Yeah, go. And you better try to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because you out this house now. That, that took pressure off me. I don't need you back in here for real. You know what I'm saying? That's how she might have been thinking. But let's get to this part of the video because of part three. Because a lot of people should always be, I don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all be lying. It's, Daniel pretty much broke down. Well, we told y'all. Everything we told y'all. About the MCN. About how the Janae shit started. About the MCN. About everything. So, so Daniel pretty much kept quiet and waited until this documentary to tell everything about that. Right. Now, a lot of people was like, you know, damn, y'all just told everything and he told y'all. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all something. Sometimes you have to know when you're being used. We know we were being used back mm-hmm. then when Damien was on the phone telling me everything to tell, to spill out. Yeah, when he sent us the, the contract and all See, that. See, Damien was sent the contract. We knew we were being used. Sometimes you got to know when you're being used to get to, 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 to get to a next level or something. You know what I'm saying? We knew we were being used, without, but it also benefited us because we do YouTube. We'll spill your beans for you. Because you didn't want to be the bad guy. Yeah, he didn't want to be the bad guy. Like you said, they were going to do MCN together. And he didn't want to be the face. Mm-hmm. So he was going to make Janae the face. And when Janae was, became the face, hell, her, her her thing was to fuck him over too. Mm-hmm. Because she, she felt like, shoot, I got this new crew now. See, now what I've said, what I say with Bianca is because she was Kind of young. She's still young at this time. But Damien's supposed to be smart. And he got, he know the ropes and shit like this. But then Bianca said he see through stuff like this. Well, why the fuck he didn't see through that she was trying to use them from the beginning? You know why? Because I'm going to tell you something. Because Bianca was so in love with her. Bianca looked at her like a second mom. You know what I'm saying? Like Bianca said, her and Aaron were friends. For some kind of reason, they fell out as friends. And Janae, you said Janae was plotting from the beginning. Janae contacted them on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Tell my congratulations. I see y'all success. doing. I see y'all doing well. They were still living in that in apartment then, but they was YouTube was blowing up. They were getting money. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we should meet up. So when she met up, she used that radio station shit. Mm-hmm. I went for the radio station like she knows some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all should let me manage y'all. I can help y'all with branding. I have it is happening with that. And like Danny said, he was. Y'all gotta understand, these people be acting like that they had a plan 
and they put all the plan together and it boom, it worked. This shit was luck. They did YouTube, the numbers start coming in crazy. It was luck. It just happened. So he was still at that time didn't know shit. That's why he agreed to let her manage him. He didn't know shit. Mm -hmm. Like he said, we were still new to this. So they let her come in and be the manager. And he all had that. to learn in the process. Yeah. And in the, but, but in the process of him learning, she knew nothing about YouTube. She just knew scam. Mm -hmm. So he, she scammed her way into them. In the process, he started teaching her. Like he said, we taught her everything she knows. And we told y'all that. We told y'all. Y'all keep on saying, yo, oh, oh, so, so uh, Janae is the, is the sense of No. Damien taught her everything. When we say everything, we mean everything. She know about YouTube. So, he took her, the, the, um, Janae, they met up with this like, dude, Lightspeed in Las Vegas or whatever. That's when the um, the uh, DMB University shit came about. But before we get to that, though, I want to say this. This is how they should have known that she was trying to scam them. Is when she inserted Ari back into Bianca's life. She said, y'all should get back together and be best friends again. How do you tell somebody that? How do I come to you and tell you that, hey, you know your homegirl that you was cool? Y'all should get back together and be best friends again. You can't force that kind of shit. Yeah. So, she was like, yeah, you know, I miss her and, you know, such and such. So, yeah, we and, know. And Damien's supposed to saw through it then. But he's supposed to already seen through this shit before when she first hit y'all up. Y'all should have been like, hell no. Nah. Who, who the fuck is this? Yeah. Why is she gonna start talking about let's meet up about some business? You know what I'm yeah. saying? But so David started seeing through it when Ari got inserted. So mm -hmm. huh, Ari tried to make it work, but this shit was it was fake. Yeah, you saw that. They started riding, going to get their nails done. And that's what she said. Y'all ought to get back friends together and get y'all, you know, go get your nails done because Janae was already planning. Let me insert Eric back into being her best friend because that'll help build her YouTube. Mm -hmm. She started putting, she, she said that, dang, y'all did all that. I need to get my child, my, ch my children on YouTube. Her thing and was Still the, nobody like him. Her thing was that nobody likes this nigga. Still so, nobody likes so, him. No, so, so basically, Eric's job was to grasp on to Bianca and piggyback off of her. Yeah, she already. So, Ari already knew the scam, the plan. Yeah. She already told Ari the plan. So, would Ari sit up here and be acting out innocent like she didn't know and shit? Ari already knew. But Ari's whole career on YouTube has been based off of piggybacking off somebody else. That's what mm -hmm. it's been picking. It's been based off of. So, that's what Janae's always used her for, to piggyback off the next person. You know what I would have liked for um for Damien would, to do, though? What? To tell the truth that that was Ari. Yeah. I would have liked him to do that. But we already everybody already know. We know it was Eric, but we just wanted him to say it. Yeah, because yeah. Janae told y'all to do this stupid shit. Yeah. And like you said, they was they was going in blind. Mm hmm But like Bianca said, they taught us not to trust nobody else. Mm hmm Because like like she, like she said, they fell out again. In the process of them trying to be friends again, because it wasn't genuine. Like she said. They taught him they taught him not to trust nobody else. Cause cause goddamn Janae done ran off on the plug with all this money. How people keep on letting her run off with the money and not taking no action against but, her? Because, because you're dealing with people that they not built like that. They don't come from that. Like mm -hmm. that's almost like that's almost like the, the nigga in school taking your lunch money and you not doing nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're not built like that, you don't come from that. Like, I be damn a nigga in school taking my money every day. Nigga, something, something, something got to stop. You know what I'm saying? Seventy five k. I don't come to school with a fucking knife or something to stick shit at you tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Like something gonna stop. So it's like when well, you're not built like that, you let people take shit from you, and that's what it is. Mm -hmm. You don't get the law involved. You don't got to go get the goddamn. You don't get physical with it. Nothing. I guess they feel like you know what her karma is coming. Mm-hmm. Cause she took seventy five k from them. And that, that was the build off of, like he said, he was asking her about the business and stuff. And she was like, yeah, it didn't make no money. Uh, the MCS. She already signed everybody to the shit. But but, but saying they weren't making no money. But she didn't sign people to shit, though, yet. Yeah, but. The only but, person she had tricked to, to get them up under the MCN and got them on money. Right. Yeah. Everybody else was like, hell no. Because remember, Chris said he had already found out that Damien was a part of this shit. And that's when Chris came to her and was like, nah, fuck that. Let me be a partner with you. 
Mm-hmm. I'll pull up 75K. Yeah. Yeah, Chris, Chris wanted to be a partner because Chris, like, he was the only nigga that had money like that, too. Mm-hmm. Like Damien, you know what I'm saying? He was like, fuck that. Let me, because he found out Chris, uh, Damien was a part. Let me pull up money. I'll be a part of it. But I guess they never worked that out. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But like you said, all the person he took money from was Armand and Trey. And like, like, like Damien said, once she took money, once she got the whole team, she felt like she didn't need us no more. Mm-hmm. That's when they started separating. Yeah, when she started, you know, telling everybody not to be fucking with them and they they shady and you know what I'm saying? But we told everybody y'all this whole story. Shady. Huh? If you look at everybody, was everybody shady. Was they shady. had a, a motive. Everybody, everybody had, had a motive. Agenda, yeah. Yeah, so. Everybody. And still, everybody still got motives. Mm-hmm. Janae still got motives trying to get back with the other crew. Um still. <laughs> um, <laughs> Damien and them got motives. Them had all these people to sign management knowing damn well these people is just the face and they're right, behind. Right. So everybody still got motives. But how this shit just ended, it was just like um they took you from rats to riches story. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, everybody hate each other, but we gonna get along because it's money involved. Like, 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 like Damien Mama said, you know. Now I can, you know, I can ask for anything I want and I can get it. And, and that's, that's basically what makes they have their family a big happy family. Because this is what I want to know. What if YouTube didn't work? If the shit just didn't Then they family, you, they family would still be dysfunctional as fuck. What the fuck would have happened with Damon and Bianca? Like, like really, we, we know Nova wouldn't be here. Yeah. But. There's no, no was paid to be here. Yeah. Would Kyrie be here? I think so. Mm. I'm gonna tell you something. You and you can tell. And that would family. they still be acting all good, or would everybody just be at each other's throat? They still be dysfunctional. I'm gonna tell you why. The, the, the families don't fuck with each other now. If you notice, but yeah, now, most of the they time they never got together. The only time shit. they came together was his mama came with her mama and the grandma. Mm-hmm. That was the only time, and that shit looked at fake. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you something also what I saw this year. Well, not this year, but just recently. They went out of town to do um, something they went out of town for. And her mama and her sister came to the house mm-hmm. to keep, to, damn, to keep DJ and Kyrie. Spin your peanuts, everyone. Yeah, I see that. Her mama and sister came to the house to keep DJ and Kyrie. Mm-hmm. Y'all know Big Damien lives there. Mm-hmm. He been living there, y'all. <laughs> like, Big Damien lives there. Did y'all notice that that time, that's when he had to get a hotel room. Right. My thing is, I'm your dad. That's her mom. Why the fuck we can't coexist in the same house? Now, we ain't got to be talking to each other and that. Like, so it's like I when, can come and go. Yeah, so when, they mama, when the mama came, he had to go get a hotel until they got back home. And she left. They let you know them families don't coexist. Mm-mm. They don't fuck with each other. And you still ain't seen the biological dad. He came down there to help them To help them move, to move in. And you ain't seen him no, no more. more. And he left before time. Yep. He was on the grill showing how to cook. And the thing that nigga was out. Mm-hmm. But anyway, we're going to wrap this thing up. So that, that, it's just better that you know that everything that looked good on the, on the top, on the outside... Ain't good down underneath. I don't even know why they did this documentary to put all this foolery out here. It should have been shown. A lot of that shit should have been shown. Right. The, the stabbing shit, they should have left all that shit out. When Damien was getting in his feelings about how the hell I get my shirt, like, I'm yeah. not going to. What you mean? Y'all still talking about? He like, hey, he took it over here. Y'all still talking about I got poke. I didn't get fucking poke. I got stabbed. I walked up and the ambulance had to come. I had to be declared on the stretcher and he was still mad about that. About that man saying he poked him. He was still mad about that. I and, said, and, and, the step, and, the, and the stepdad was just taking it like so nuts. I'm like, yeah, he is. He's such a big cry baby. He sitting there talking about he got stabbed. It was just a poke. He ain't had a band aid. He ain't a poke. And I said, damn your ass be exaggerated. He do, he do, he do so put I extra. can't even believe it. And Bianca said that too. She like, y'all know how David be extra on camera? She like, he be even more extra off camera. 
Mm. He's just like that. Because He's that extra. money done changed him. Yeah. See, them the worst ones to be around right there. Yeah. But, let me tell you, but like I said, money doesn't do nothing but exploit what you already are. People say that money changes you. It does, but money exploits who you already are. If you and what you desire to be. Yeah, if you are a, if I'm, I'm saying, if you are an asshole with money, you was always an asshole. Just nobody cared to listen to your ass. Right. Nobody gave a fuck. Like, can't no nigga, can't no broke ass nigga come in here and be, what y'all motherfuckers doing? Sit your ass down. No, nigga, get your broke ass out of here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, and I'm saying, you know, I ain't lying to a fuck. I was when you got, but when a, a rich nigga walk into the room, it's a bad different. If a broke nigga walk in right now and say some shit, and CJ walk in the room or Damien walk in the room and say some shit, it means different. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. People are like, oh shit, sit down. Damien's talking. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't know why people do that, but they listen to niggas with money. Like money makes them so much smarter. Mm -hmm. Money doesn't make you smarter. A lot of dumb niggas got rich over the years. But we're gonna wrap this thing up, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all like your comments and you share the video. And with that being said, we will catch y'all on the next video. Peace.